two weeks into her new role in the U.S. House of Representatives. How are you feeling right now? And Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett is already busy hitting the ground for Texas District 30. I'm feeling encouraged. I sat down with Congresswoman Crockett as she returned to North Texas from D.C. last week. You know, what we saw that first week, the chaos, um, I absolutely believe that that's going to be an ongoing theme. That chaos in the U.S. Capitol she's referencing was the controversial election of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and the political drama that delayed the swearing-in ceremony for Crockett and other freshman members of Congress. You know, we were sitting there with bated breath. Right? Like, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? After 15 rounds of voting, the GOP ultimately selected McCarthy Speaker of the House. Crockett and her colleagues were officially sworn in around 2 a.m. January 7th. We were in a very vulnerable state and we did not want to um, alarm the general public, but we needed to get this done. And working to get things done is what the Democratic Congresswoman says she's been busy tackling so far. In D.C., she's already been elected to a leadership position. Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman who was ever sworn into Congress. And it's been since she was sworn into Congress that a black woman has sat at the House Democratic Caucus leadership table. Crockett is now one of two black women with seats at that leadership table, helping her colleagues advocate for positions on committees, among other priorities. And closer to home. We're definitely trying to make sure every portion of the district knows that I'm here, knows that I'm supportive of them. Congresswoman Crockett spent the past week talking with residents across Dallas and Tarrant counties, visiting local businesses like Southwest Airlines, bouncing ideas about programs for local schools. Crockett says as the session picks up this week, lawmakers will be tackling some hot topics, including the controversial debt ceiling. What are you most optimistic about? Honestly, just the people. Really, I mean, the people is what drove me to want to do this job anyway. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.